Good evening, everyone. Ads here from Unity Trading Group. Welcome to your Wednesday night update. Before we start, hit that like button, tap the subscribe button if you can, and of course, tick the little bell to stay updated on all of our content coming in the future. It's been a decent day for BTC, if you ask me. We've had a movement through our level of supply that we spoke about over the last couple of days. Of course, Gravy Train uh, pushing into the cloud now. So I'll get rid of that for a minute and uh, we'll have a chat about this level of supply. So this 50K supply was a psychological round number. It was a resistance 50 to 51,000. Uh, I got the level by drawing it in at this pivot point here. So I take this whole area as a pivot and we came down and retested our 44K mark. <clears throat> so with this level of supply now, uh, we are eating away at this level on the four hour time frame. And really coming to fruition was the push into the cloud for our gravy train indicator, uh, telling us to stop shorts if we were short. Whoops, uh, let me just bring it back up. Um, anyway, yeah, telling us to stop shorts if we were short. And uh, of course, we are in a area of indecision now. And of course, if we're heading on the lower time frame, say the one hour, we are already underway in the way of a, you know, a positive bullish trend. Uh, for BTC. So we crossed up here and it was around that 48,000 mark. We did retest the cloud for a long signal on the one hour time frame and pushed up again to our level of supply. And of course, we are pushing through it currently. If we are to see this con movement continue towards the upside, towards our most relevant level of supply, as we see it around this gravy train cloud here, and of course, this previous market pivot point, we need to see this level finally broken through at 51,000 and give us a decent close above that level to really confirm the 53K mark. It's nearly there. It's just about there. And it's, uh, it's something that we could probably expect to happen. Of course, we, are, we have been held on the 50 RSI for a bounce, uh, which was just at that 47K mark. So if you were trading on the lower time frames. You could have had your fibs from swing low to swing high and of course more than likely that would have been around that 61 area so if i draw that in there around the 38 there we are so we did retrace to the 38 before moving towards our level of supply and we are moving through this level currently so if we do break above this over the course of this evening i'd, I'd like it to test that 54 carrier k area <clears throat> if we do break down so if we do break down from here, uh, we still can because we're just tap, tapping on the top of that level of supply now. Um, so if we do break down from here, I'd be looking towards you know this liquidity area that we did bounce off the 38 again at 47k. But it's probably more likely at this point that we will push through this level of supply. So I'm looking forward to that occurring over the next couple of hours. Hopefully uh, by this time tomorrow, we'll have more of an idea of where we are for BTC. And a retrace or a further movement upwards towards our 53k is where I'm looking for currently. Now moving on, Ethereum USD will keep it nice, short, and sh uh, sweet tonight. Uh, very similar price action, very similar price action as we've seen and observed with Bitcoin, but in any case, we haven't had the volume to come in and push us through towards you know the upper levels of ethereum so if i'm drawing these in a little bit more correctly than i have in there now uh let's have a look at this yeah we could go right here if we take it up to there <clears throat> that's sixteen thousand level of supply that we're observing here currently on the price action uh has been respected a number of times we're not quite to it we're not quite at it yet which is disappointing to me, in, in all honesty. I'd like to see Ethereum following suit with BTC, but the volume hasn't entered uh, Ethereum as it has with Bitcoin, unfortunately. But if we do get a movement towards that 54, 53K for BTC, I could probably expect Ethereum to at least push this supply and, of course, retest our 38.2 at the 1660 mark. But that really needs to come to fruition in the way of BTC moving up or else we're not going to see Ethereum be pulled up uh, according to the US pair anyway. So uh, an interesting one over the next little bit. 
If we do fall over here, uh, a very easy target to be identified would be this one here at 1480. That's a just a small pivot or a small swing for Ethereum, but it would validate that pullback for me at about 1480 for ETH USD. <clears throat> Next one I have a look at is XRP. We'll keep it nice, short, and sweet tonight. Uh, not a whole lot happening on this pair. We are moving towards this 61.8 now at 45 cents. And that's due to BTC pulling up the USD pairs. Although, like I said, the volume hasn't entered the other pairs as it has with BTC. So BTC moving up towards that 53K mark and uh, not a lot happening with the other altcoins. XRP, the next stop is 45 cents uh, in the way of our levels of fibs and of course we do have a short-term supply at 47 uh, cents for XRP. Now last one I have a look at tonight is the DXY. We did have the pullback that we were kind of expecting uh, over the course of last night and today uh, we didn't quite get to, we haven't quite yet gotten to our level of demand but it can be negligible in terms of where we draw this. I think I didn't draw it on the four hour anyway, but I'll draw it in on the four hour time frame. It was there <clears throat> using the whole candle body for this. And of course, using some liquidity to the left hand side to really validate that zone as well. But we did have that blow off top at 91.4 and then a movement down towards our 90.7. So very similar to the area that we spoke about yesterday. And of course, we blasted straight through that level of support that I drew in yesterday as well. So if we are to be putting in the most relevant levels of fibs, we'll probably find that again, we are at the 38.2. We can see it's a reoccurring theme. Uh, so you get a higher high, a pullback to the 38.2, and then a decision on which, which way we're going to go. So this is an interesting one. I'd like the DXY to be held here. Of course, we do have relevant levels on the way down. So even if we do break down and uh, we test the 61.8, there is a relevant swing level there as well, looking at about 90.33 for the Forex pair. But um, look, I really wanted to keep it nice, short and sweet tonight. Uh, big day for me uh, in the office, so uh, I'll keep it nice and short. Thank you all for joining me. If you would like to see more of Gravy Train, you can head to unitytradinggroup.com slash gravy train. I'm Ads from UTG, I'll see you tomorrow.